Girl, look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show If you're easily triggered, leave now Because this is not the show for you Now, ladies and gentlemen What I'm going to be talking to you about As a topic of discussion Is something that I think we all can agree to When I grew up If you was a single mother and you was dating other men, those children that the single mother had didn't really know about the men that you were dating. Every now and then you had a few, a few um, exceptions to the rule with severe women who are living in severe promiscuity where they would bring different random men around their daughters and their sons. Okay, that was not the norm. Now, today, it is the norm. If a woman is feeling a man, no matter if she's known him for one week to one month, a year or whatever, she is quick to bring those men around their children, making those children, putting those children in risk. Now you don't have to worry about the stranger danger outside the home. Now you have to worry about the stranger danger inside the home because the mothers are bringing the strangers into the home where these children are getting inappropriately touched. And sometimes that don't come out to years later. The mommy's boyfriend used to rub up on that innocent one. Okay. So what I'm going to do is give you facts, data, and statistics in this video. And I'm going to let a woman tell you the same thing that I just said, basically. I got a lot of things to cover here. So let me go ahead and get up on the screen for you. One second. Right, I got to turn the music down. Let's get it. Hope y'all doing right. Man, I'm still tired, boy. It's been a long weekend, buddy. Let's get it. Black women, I love y'all, but if you got a black son, you need to hear me out. If you choose to live that hoish lifestyle which I do not recommend. I ain't always been who I am today, but I'm never going to recommend a hoish lifestyle. But if you do live that hoish lifestyle, keep that out of the sight of your children. Keep that lifestyle away from your kids. Definitely keep that lifestyle away from your sons. Seeing their moms behold ruin little boys. They literally get ruined from it. And I agree. There's a lot of boys walking around right now with trauma that their mama gave them. There's a lot of young girls, especially, who have been touched the wrong way because mama couldn't control herself, didn't have enough discipline to be in a relationship or to date other men outside of the children. You know, what I'm trying to say is, instead of getting a hotel room, instead of getting a motel room to go do what they're going to do, they letting these men, uh, they are picking up in the clubs, bring them to their home because sometimes these men don't have their own place and they stay with their own mama they got them a pookie ray ray or nook nook and they are bringing these men to their trailers to their apartments to their homes where their children are at sometimes the children may be asleep while mama getting her back blown out but the children wake up in the morning time and in the morning time that man that mama just got creamed all over got a cream pot from comes out the other room and they are growing up seeing different men so what type of message are you sending to your daughters and what are you teaching your son that it's okay to um just smash anything it's okay to pick up random men okay i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna play some um, statistics let's keep going ruin from it. and they go through so much because of it do not let your son see men in and out your bed and a lot of times when women are in these type of lifestyles you came to pay attention to everything. And while you not paying attention, these men be getting a hold to your sons. And then if it don't be the men getting a hold to your sons and your children, it be the family and friends that you send them off with so you can go be a hoe. It's getting a hold to your babies and to your sons and they resent you and hate you for it. Exactly. When you out there trying to party, when you're trying to leave your, for example, your kids with your grandma to watch out for your kids while you go to the club, some of you don't do that. You leave them with your friends and other, or other family members. This is why you have these stories about uncles touching nephews, uncles touching uh, nieces and stuff because of that a lot of time. Okay. And a lot of times these boys, they don't want to stand that they mama a hoe until they become teenagers. You get what I'm saying? When they start being around other young boys and girls, peers their age, and they see what a hoe do in high school, and then mama actions is looking like the actions of the hoe in school, then they start to resent you more because they know that their peers are going to realize if they don't already know that mama's a hoe. And then sometimes these young men or young 
<laughs> young daughter's um, peers, the father and mother of their peers may already know about the reputation of that mother. So your friend's mother and daddy is already telling other people, ooh, she a hoe. You get what I'm saying? So you got to be mindful of what you're doing, lady. Stop being a mustard back heifer. You get what I'm saying? Let's keep going. So if you're going to do that, which I don't recommend, don't let your son see that. Don't put them in the hands of whoever, whenever. Don't have them niggas in and out of your house where your baby lay. And on the flip side of this, when you meet a man <laughs> and you hear that man say that his mama was a hoe and him and his mama don't got the best relationship and he ain't went to therapy, baby, you best prepare to run because I'm going to tell you, that man is going to be abusive. That man is going to be emotional. He won't be emotionally intelligent at all. He will not be emotionally intelligent because he's going to learn all his ability to manage emotions from his mother. And women are highly emotional. There are certain type of emotions that are unique to a young boy, unique to a grown man that women cannot navigate you through. They can only advise and suggest, but it's always best to have a man show a young boy how to manage those emotions that are unique to a man. So, yeah, most likely, if, especially if he's being abused and stuff, and mama didn't protect him, daddy wasn't there, he's going to resent that mother, and he may also be violent to whoever his girlfriend may be. It just If he hasn't had no type of therapy, it's just the truth of it. Let's keep going. He's going to be angry. He's going to be aggressive. And a lot of times, they end up being on the down low, liking men. If you see that that man had a mama that was a hoe and he don't really like her and he ain't went to therapy baby you best run now i love y'all y'all be well and we gonna keep sticking together that's the thing you can love somebody and give them the truth all the time but if they don't love the truth it has nothing to do with you they don't want to hear what you got to say now i'm gonna put some um statistics on the screen for all of y'all because i tell y'all the truth all the time i know i'll be pissing people off but you know me, the gentleman who has gone rogue. I seriously don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? So let me go ahead and um, put some statistics up, put this on your mind about what we've been talking about. Make sure it's on the screen. Yes, it is. Okay. Let's get it. All right. It says this. It says this. It said in the, the uh, child and family blog, when a mother has multiple partners, children's behavior likely to be worse. Okay. When you out there hoeing around, bringing around multiple men around your children, your children have the possibility of, or, or should I say potentiality of being bad children. A continuation of um, child and family blog. It says when a mother has, oh, go down, sorry. Children born to unmarried mothers had more frequent behavior problems when the mother had multiple partners, three or more in succession. There's another one, another one. It said, how does Having multiple partners affect children. For children, MPF, multiple partner families, is associated with greater risk of behavior problems, poor academic performance, adolescent drug use, and depression. Excuse me. The Chicago Tribune said child abuse was often points, is often points to boyfriend. I'm, I apologize. I just woke up. Child abuse often a points, points to boyfriend. Damn, I can't get nothing out today. In other words, a lot of y'all bring these quote unquote new boyfriends around your children and they are abusing your children. Okay, now the Independent said, this article says, children whose parents have multiple partners while they're growing up are less likely to have stable relationships as adults. So they learn these unstable, unstable um, behaviors from you mothers out there who are bringing around random men. Again, I'm sorry I can't get nothing out this morning. I just woke up, got my coffee. I'm still kind of halfway asleep. Had a hell of a night last night. But we're going to keep on pushing. I'm going to put another one up here for you right quick. Give me a second as I put it on the screen. We're still going to cover this because this is really a serious issue. And for some reason now, women think it's okay to bring men that they don't really even know around their children. Let's get it. Sisters, sisters, please wisen up. 
you'll bring these estranged men around your children and then five ten years later your children coming to you saying mommy remember your boyfriend mr so-and-so he touched me remember him Mr. So-and-so you used to bring around or because that was your boyfriend and you really didn't want me to tell you that say that that was your boyfriend you used to make me call him Uncle So-and-so, Uncle Timmy, right? Right, Uncle Ray Ray. Well, he really touched me later on. That comes out a lot. You got women that have estranged men around their children. And I tell the sisters all the time, I tell them all the time, these, these men, that ain't the child's father. They don't care about your children. They don't care. Right. Then you got the boyfriend, you to move the men. He killing a woman, killing the children that ain't his, killing that. It's happening. I see the stories every day. And she's telling the truth. Your children are special, but only special to you, lady. Let's just be real with you. Got some more to put up here. Give me a second. I want to really knock this out the ball part. Now I'm going to show you. Uh, now I'm going to go to another part first. Then we get to that. we get to this gentleman second. Let's do this first. Let me say this. I'm proud for the step on some toes, but they 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 y'all ain't y'all toes ain't been stepped on hard enough. Ladies, stop bringing these different men around your kids. Especially, especially, especially if you got little girls. Do not, I repeat, in a calm voice, do not bring so many different guys around your daughter now, your girls do not do that have y'all not paid attention to the news have y'all not paid attention to the things that's going on and they ain't just talking about in the 2023 22 21 20 be careful mindful of who you invite in your house y'all these guys have no filter on life. Your kids are your pride and joy. Those are your kids. You are supposed to protect them by any means, any cost. Do not let your kids be the ones that's on TV. Missing. Haven't been found. Been what I don't understand is if you can carry a child for nine months, have surgery to get the child cut out you if you need to have it happen that way, and then you do all this breastfeeding if you do that, you say you love the child, name the child. How come you put the love of a stranger over that child that came out of your body? That child been with you for over nine months at least, or in two, three, four years later, still living with you. You know a man for one week, and you'll choose to take sides with that man even if that child tells you something going on this is the world that we live in i'm not gonna play the other clip i'm gonna use the other clip that i'm gonna play after this for another video i think we're just gonna stay on this right quick being found killed molest touch inappropriate mouth closed because some of you parents you mothers don't want to listen to your kids nowadays y'all don't want to listen to them what kids say is this dog stupid y'all don't know what you're talking about he didn't do that he wouldn't do that he loved me so if he loved you what about your kids do your kids even count don't get me wrong kids lie but sometimes what kids see parents don't see what kids see parents not trying to see they not trying to hear what their kids said. They not trying to take and dodge in. Okay, then, if my child said this man touching her, I need to look into that. Which a man gonna lie, baby? Come on now, baby. You know I wouldn't do that to your child. That's my point. A lot of these women take the side of the man. They won't take the side. At least investigate the accusation. Some of you don't want to do that because you don't want to lose that pookie you got there or that predator that you got there. This is sad, man. These are sad times. That's why I'm covering this. I know um, somebody may get inspired by what I did today and try to make a version of this video, and I'm fine with that. You know what I mean? I think we need to put um, some light on these serious matters, man. We got to, man. I need to look into that. Which a man gonna lie. Baby, come on now, baby. You know I wouldn't do that to your child. I wouldn't harm your child. 
I want to touch your child. Wow. Wow. Now, the words that's coming out of his mouth is words that you're going to believe. And it's crazy that you're going to believe a man over something that you sit up there and carry inside you nine months. Or yeah. something that you carried in you had to get your body cut to get your lifeline up out of you. That's what I said. Mm. Wow. Mm. Love is that deep that you will ha, put a man over your own child. Woo. Man, let me say it again. Put a man over your own child. Woo. Did you hear me? I said, like, ah, woo. Did you hear what I said? Put a man over your creation. I don't know that because they're going to go on forever. But you get the point. You get the gist of what I'm trying to say here. So anyway, you let me know what you think about this um show today, the episode today in the comments. I'm going to try to drop some more today. And yeah, boy, I don't know if I got a hangover or what, but I am. Boy, I had a hell of a night last night. But we're going to get through this tonight. Today. I'm going to end it with the old-fashioned um, intro. I'm going to do the next video with the new, old intro, too, just for fun. I haven't done it in a long time. Some of y'all say you like it. Talk to y'all soon. Y'all be safe now. You hear